like this gun is actually absurd like do you know how much four bullets like four bullets is nothing bam deleted what is going on guys it is apathy back with a brand new video today we're gonna be talking about a shit ton of things like the ga on the ak-47 why did it get ga'd what is the next best ar and just a whole bunch of things that you guys i'm assuming want to know and you can see just from the potential oh whoa, 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 whoa. so just yesterday because this is when you're watching the video that grows us pretty nasty though wow uh the ak-47 has been ga'd by the pro players now when guns get ga'd you gotta understand it's for a good reason usually like you can see right there how fast this gun can kill and the potential of this gun is quite damn absurd so there's a reason why pro players wanted this gun banned it's not just because oh this gun is all right it's okay in the current meta this gun just kind of disrupts the meta a little bit when it comes to like a main sub and a main ar so pros thought you know what to make this game and the gun to make the meta of the game a little bit more fair and interesting get it out of here now i do agree with you um i'm not crazy about this ga i'm not like super for it was it 100 percent necessary maybe not and do i like the ak not being the meta as a sub player yes because the ak ruins it's worse for even subs like subs are supposed to be these dominant like a little bit more dominant than ars up close it's supposed to be handle you know just stand a chance even medium range to ars and it just the ak completely just spits it in the face like the ak has a four shot kill from about almost 50 meters depending on the attachments you're running almost a 50 meter four shot kill 74 you kills in four shots up to 10 meters so you can see the huge difference in that 74 kills in four shots ak 74 you kills in four shots so the ak-47 basically kind of shits on subs and what like subs are good for because it can easily compete with a sub close to medium range it's more of a do-it-all ar more of a bail it bail out type of gun like you win gunfights that you really shouldn't win in an ar category especially versus subs but you just win them because you have such a dominant gun and that's extremely frustrating as a sub player frustrating in general now the Krig is a really good AR, don't get me wrong, but like gunfights like that, any gunfight that I get into like a premium, like close to medium range, most of the time I'm gonna win it just because of the time to kill with this weapon. Look, I almost killed that guy too. So overall, I'm not crazy about the AK-47 GA. Uh, I, you know, my team asked me if I was down. I said, yeah, I'm down. But I'm not, it's not something I was like, oh my God, yes, get rid of it, please. I'm, it's the most OP thing ever. I do think it is annoying does disrupt the set the meta a little bit and it, it like i said it is really annoying to play especially as a submachine gun player so overall i think it does um open up the skill gap a little bit and this is also not just me saying it it's just like kind of, kind of a little bit co common sense but also i've had not only is it common sense but i've played against players who are really good with ak-47s and then i played them while they're using the craig as a sub player and they just like they get smoked a bit like they they take shortcuts they don't take the good routes like they don't play as as well as an ar should be playing and that's where the skill gap is and if you don't play as good you're gonna get punished you know ar has to do what an ar has to do and a sub has to do what a sub has to do so basically um uh, something that also contributed kind of to the ga and realizing the ak started to become a little bit op um the Krig did get nerfed with some headshot multipliers basically the Krig used to be the best because of the headshot multiplier and it can like shred people really easy with the headshots but now that the Krig got that nerf even the ak received that nerf but like i said the ak is still a four shot kill very far range four shot kill depending on what attachments are you running you're running like this gun is actually absurd like do you know how much four bullets like four bullets is nothing bam deleted bam deleted like I could kill. Oh, oh, okay. He pre me. He good. But we kind of saw this coming eventually, and that's enough AK-47 talk. Let's go. Uh, let's go into the next big thing that a lot of you guys are wondering about. The next best AR. What is it looking like? Um, what's going to be the meta now? I mean, a lot of you guys know the Krig was sort of the meta uh, for the most part. Everyone used Krigs. Um, I definitely think you can. You might see some M4s in play. M4 is actually pretty fun and pretty good to use. Like it's pretty strong so we could see maybe some potential m4s in play uh what else we can see maybe a groza man i made a video not too long ago saying the groza could low-key enter the meta depending depending on how things are going down and with the ak getting nerfed there's a potential groza entry groza groza whatever you whatever you want to say it. and that would be actually absurd if it happens will it happen 
at the moment i don't think so because i think people rather just use the m4 dude this is incredible how good come on brother have an ak it feels like i'm using like a like an overpowered ar when i use this gun bro now if you want to pub stomp with a really broken and strong ar class setup this is what you want to be rocking the ak-47 with these attachments here really gives the ak to its full potential like i said the four shot kill with these attachments extends to like almost 60 meters so you four shot in almost 60 meters do you understand how far away that is to put in perspective that is almost this is 50 all the way to that wall to here is 50. all right guys we're back with some more raid and we are using the craig six now this gun lordy lordy lord you can see the beams coming in already this is the best ar and what's it's what's going to be in the meta at least for now because of how dominant it is in its role so when you think about the Craig six you think about the best gun in this category you know the ar role it's what do you need an ar you need an ar that can beam you need an ar that you know can just do its job but it, like you can peel people off headies you can kill people the camping headies and that's what the Craig six does best man this gun just gets the job done every single time it just shoots very straight and it's just it's just so good as an ar class look at that look at them beams coming in oh my god i have one hp all the pre-fire these guys are a little sweaty but it's all good oh we get a nice little four piece action here huh you can see the beams coming in pretty hot guys this is just what what this Craig. this is what the Craig does man the way I like to describe it sometimes is like, you know, you use the MP5, right? Like the MP5 is super good up close, right? People wonder why, well, why don't people use the MP5 if it's, if it's like really good up close, it's a nasty SMG. The thing is, the 74U is just better overall in its role, man. The 74U can kill up close just basically just as fast as the MP5, just as fast or if not faster with that four shot kill and it has that good ass range that you want like it has really good range compared to mp5 and that's why the 74 is used a lot more it just it just competes with the ar is a little bit better than oh my god than a than 70 than mp5 would uh, and that's why a lot of people use it bro you can just see the damage i'm doing on the map you guys already know i know you guys want this class setup don't worry i'll have the class for you at the end of the video this thing is just an absolute shredder man oh yeah oh yeah and this gun too the thing about the Craig six is like it's like people think it's like such a stationary and like such a like stiff ar but in reality like the ak is actually more stiff the ak is better like because of the four shot kill like it's slow key better up close and stuff but the Craig has like a little bit more finesse and like swag to it like you can be more more mobile with it and slide around and jump around female you Craig has a really good jump shot too, by the way, guys. Look at that jump shot. Oh, as soon as I said it, jump shot comes into play. Beautiful. Oh, Wait, is that mine? I thought I was activating a counter spy plane. I just activated a veto. Oh, look at me. Look at me on the map. Look at me on the map. And I'm not like the best like Craig player. Like I don't really use the Craig much. And you do definitely got to get a little bit of used to like the the pattern a little bit it doesn't really have much of a pattern because it just beams super straight but it, it has it's a little bit weird at times just a little bit all right guys we're going straight into the ak-47 class so for the optic we are running the micro flex for the muzzle we got the spetnaz compensator but you can dabble with the eliminator if you want we got the reinforced barrel now this extra um damage range basically increases it to 76 meters so you four shot kill extremely far basically almost as far as you can on any map other than like ground war or like some big ass like fire team so reinforce really good so i recommend reinforce or liberator one of those two we got the stadium laser spetna speed grip if you want to beam hard you can run a spetna grip but speed grip feels so nice on the ak especially if you're going to be running the reinforced barrel because it takes away some movement speed we got the 40 round mag elastic wrap and a skeletal stock and now going into the good old Craig six i was using the variant uh yeah whatever that's called so we got the microflex infantry compensator now the Craig has a very low horizontal the only thing you really want to work on more is the uh is the vertical so you, you want to have the vertical control we got just the straight up ranger stadium laser field agent grip 40 round mag airborne elastic wrap and raider stock this makes this ar super good 
Beam, 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 beam. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We are on our way to 200K subscribers. I know we will hit it uh, soon, I hope. Not soon, not soon, soon, like now soon, but like soon, like soon, maybe in a month or two, a couple months soon. We'll see how things go. Hope you guys have enjoyed the content. Hope you all have a wonderful day, man. Spread love and positivity. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, brothers and sisters.